I think that uh, we have made it clear to the Israelis, and they're aware, that the independent, the, the safety of innocent Palestinians is still of great concern. And so the actions they're taking must be consistent with attempting to do everything possible to prevent innocent Palestinian civilians from being, being hurt, murdered, killed, lost, et cetera. Robert Bothwell joins me now. He's an international relations professor at the University of Toronto. Professor, good morning. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. There has been global for pressure for this ceasefire to happen. Canada has voted in favor of the ceasefire. Israel's ambassador speaking out, say the, the UN's resolution really changes nothing. Where are we now at this moment in time? Well, I think that we're looking at a very complicated international situation in which it's in Canada's interest to see the Israeli-Hamas uh, war brought to a halt. Um, <clears throat> I mean, there are a lot of other things on the agenda, and they're getting more pressing. And um, our foreign minister, our prime minister, have to have to look at the whole picture. So um, I think that... Um, it's in our interest, it's in the interest of the Western Alliance, and it's obviously in the interest of the United States for us to um, bring this to a halt and try and establish some greater proportion to our foreign relations. Israel is losing vital support because it continues, it seems, to ignore um, the fact that the tide has turned, that people around the world, countries around the world are calling for this ceasefire to protect civilians. Um, what do you think is at stake here for Israel? What do you think their end game is right now? Well, their end game is to prevent another attack uh, like the one on October the 7th, which was, <clears throat> of course, absolutely atrocious. And, and we shouldn't forget that it was Hamas that began the war, not Israel. So, um, I mean, obviously, the Israelis took all this into account when they began the war, and I think they factored uh, international disapproval into, um, into their strategy. Um, however, um, events inside and outside the Middle East, I think, now play a part. And our position, I think, um, since it has shifted a bit, um, our position is is closer, I think, to that of our European allies than it is for the moment to the United States. Right. And certainly we saw that joint statement come yesterday from Australia, Canada and New Zealand saying that they supported a sustainable ceasefire. And they also said that there was no role for Hamas in the future governance of Canada or excuse me, of Gaza. I also wanted to get your take on what we heard yesterday from President Joe Biden. The U.S. did veto the vote Friday, and they were with Israel yesterday. But in an unusual um, public statement, Biden also warning Israel that it's at risk of losing international support. What impact does the U.S. position have on Israel entering a ceasefire with Hamas right now? Well, I think that Israel is going to resist the American pressure for as long as it can. Um, I mean, there is obviously a limit to that, but I think the Israelis know that Biden cannot impose uh, restrictions or um, uh, shrink American aid immediately in the short term, maybe not even in the longer term. So I, I think that um, I think that Israel can proceed for a while uh, without American overt support. Um, I'm counting on the fact that, you know, the Americans probably don't dare uh, terminate um, all aid to Israel. And my last question then for you this morning is about Canada's position because it has changed. Hmm. What's your takeaway? Are you surprised by the way Canada voted yesterday? N not entirely. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we do have an active and an intelligent um, diplomatic service, and uh, for once, we've got a good foreign minister. Uh, so yes, I, I'm um, I'm pleased, but not not surprised. Um, I, our position really is very close to that of our other allies. We look usually only at the United States, but we should look at the Europeans, and as you mentioned, we should also look at the Australians and New Zealanders. Um, and our broader interest is to see this Middle East war brought to an end, 
because we have another war to worry about, and uh, and that's in Ukraine. So, um, no, I, I think that our position uh, in limiting the damage or limiting the preoccupation of our foreign policy with Israel uh, to the exclusion of other things, this is a very intelligent foreign policy. Robert Bothwell is an international relations professor at the University of Toronto. Thanks again.